invited to welcome you all to this prestigious Open Science Conference right here in the heart of Nigeria. Open Science Conference has been there to me personally for, every, for over 25 years. I have been and I will continue to be an advocate of Open Science. We believe that scientific knowledge should be accessible to enable collaboration and foster innovation. Hence, this strategic collaboration with LibSense, Echo Connect, and in extension, the plethora of strategic government partners to strengthen the c uh, capacity for open science. Think about what, is, what they're really evaluating. Are you evaluating somebody's ability to borrow money to pay somebody, or are you evaluating his work? So some of conversations have started with university leaders regionally. So the CVC has been represented a number of times, so have the other organizations um, that are university associations. This two-day symposium is another excellent opportunity for all stakeholders in Nigeria university education sector to come together, reflect, take stock, explore, and learn new strategies for furthering the development of sound university education system in Nigeria. Science is cross-cutting. For you to achieve the 17, you have to you know, take STI, science, technology, and innovation into consideration. So science is in, it's very important for achieving sustainable development goals. We have open access journals based on the quality. We have assessed the quality of them, so you can be sure that it's quality open access journals. We are independent, and we are not for profit. And this says PLANES requires authors to publish open access. It means that Europe requires researchers that are funded by Europe, uh, Europe funds to publish open access and also to have the journals in the directive open access journals. We are talking about library as a business process, ICT as a business process, and then the BC as the overseer of all of what is happening in the university as what, well, as a process. So we have to completely shift from the normal um, ways of doing things. Open science is an all-encompassing phrase that actually also includes open humanities. It's not just about scientific research. Uh, it's about hum humanities and other things. And so open access, citizen science, open humanities, and pretty much any open paradigm kind of tends to be categorized under open science. As librarians, we are duty bound because we are the gatekeepers into knowledge. Gatekeepers in the sense that what is pr produced by the scientist, by any other scholar, comes back to us. Then, if we have these things in our library, we must make sure these things are used. When we went to the university, it was the good old card that you look, you used to search for, for materials in the library. And between your lecturer, the notes, and the library, you didn't have any information on that subject matter. Fast forward to the students that we have today. They lie down on their beds and go to anywhere in the world that they want to go to. For the institutions, to be able to connect to each other, they require what is called identity federation. Most, many of you will also know AJOL. AJOL is the African Journals Online. So Wacron is collaborating with them in a new three-year three project. It will start in November. Now the idea is to empower African communities of practice. First, we want openness. So all online journals should be free and open access immediately. A paid or print version is always allowed. So it is strictly the digital version that we're talking about.